Online curriculum programs offer a great education from the comfort of your own home. But they may just be putting your children at risk of significant mental and physical problems that are irreversible. In this video, I'm going to reveal seven warnings about online curriculum that parents should consider before buying their program. 90% of parents do not think about these issues before jumping into the curriculum. Hi there, my name is Rebecca. Becca Devitt. I am a curriculum expert, I'm a homeschool mum, and I was homeschooled myself. I've spent literally thousands of hours researching curriculum from just about every educational provider. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few cautions I have before you buy your first online program. First up, imagine that you have a little bit of back pain and you go off to find a solution for that back pain. You go to the local pharmacy and you find they've got some great painkillers there right on the shelf. And so you grab a few packets and you start using them. Great, pain gone. But then the pain comes back and you think to yourself, I'll just try a little bit more of that. And so slowly you become addicted. I know this because I myself have been medically addicted. It's a really slow process. and You don't even understand that it's happening when it's happening. And it's sometimes the same story with online curriculum. You have a problem and you need your child to learn. And so there is online curriculum. Now you may not know, but these programs are made so incredibly effective these days that they are made to be addictive. Children love learning. They beg you to resubscribe to the program. And so you do. And that's how the creators get their money as well. And children find it hard to stop using these programs, which is fantastic in some ways because you're like, well, great, they're engaged, they're learning. What more could we want? Until you want them to stop using the program and go do their chores or perhaps play in the backyard or maybe make a cake with you. Sorry, mom, just, just doing learning. It's it's, it's learning, mum. And I'm not saying this is all bad. Certainly there is a time and a place for it, but online learning has to be kept under good guard or it can be addictive with some of the programs. And think about now decreased attention spans we're seeing. Did you know that the average attention span these days is only 8.25 seconds? And a child's attention span is even shorter than the average. In fact, attention spans have decreased almost 25% from the year 2000 to 2015. It was 12 seconds then, now it's just 8.25 seconds. Gone are the days when a child of an evening, it was their entertainment, would just settle back in an armchair and listen to their parents read Charles Dickens' this is Oliver Twist. Even adults these days, a lot of the time, they can't understand Oliver Twist in the original language. Back to attention spans. So children are now sitting in front of these incredibly great programs at getting children's attention like reading eggs or night zookeeper. But what's the downside? Well, children might not develop a very good ability to concentrate unless they're incredibly engaged by all the boom, boom, boom stuff on the screen they see in front of them. Therefore, they have to work harder to maintain a focus on a subject that they may not just be that interested in in the future. And that will be tricky when they're doing a course that maybe is not quite so engaging as some of these, especially young, these programs that are written for your primary school age children. And unfortunately these days, for an online homeschool curriculum to be incredibly successful, it has to be incredibly engaging. It has to keep the viewer's whole attention. And so they're sitting there looking at a screen for many, many hours a day. So these programs simultaneously shorten a child's attention spans, especially if they're played for long periods at a time. Next, I want you to imagine you are in a relationship with the most gorgeous man or woman of your dreams. 
But let's say the relationship was only long distance. You'd never actually met this stunning individual in person, never held their hands or given them a hug. The relationship wouldn't really feel like the real deal now, would it? Now imagine an online program where everything is just completely online. It's not the same thing as a relationship, sure, but somewhere along the line, you want the real world. A real bit of paper and pencil, a real Bunsen burner, a real frog to dissect. Well, maybe not the last one. Oh, you do, right, okay, all good. So an online curriculum can give you so much, but somewhere along the line, we want to stop and play with real people and run around a real backyard not the online stimulated environment. Of course, you may never have realized it, but most web browsers, apps, and even personal mobile devices are made to game us. These devices are made to keep us entertained. They are made to keep us on them for longer than we intended. Facebook is particularly known for being guilty, some would say, of using unethical psychological practices to increase time spent on their platforms. Now, I'm not saying online programs are all bad. Indeed, if kids are learning in a healthy way, they can be really good. But it is important for us to know that these people earn their living and have an increased income the more Okay, so sorry about that guys. My camera just completely ran out of battery and I have had to charge it for the last hour. But let's go on to the next warning which is about your child's eyes. Have you ever wondered why Singaporean children seem to wear a disproportionate amount of eyeglasses compared to other children? Severe myopia, which is short-sightedness or nearsightedness, has almost doubled among Singaporean children. Why is that? Well, increased myopia is following increased exposure to handheld devices or just screens that these children are looking at for hours upon hours. Channel News Asia reports a stunning statistic that 80% of Singaporeans aged 18 and below have nearsightedness due to screen overexposure. Of course, an increase in screen time is also a decrease in the time you're going to spend outside, which is the best thing you can do for your eyes when you've been staring at a computer screen at close range for so long. And of course, one of the big things with myopia is online programs. Now for my next pet peeve with these programs. Imagine you're the head of a law firm and you need a new lawyer, so you start interviewing your prospective candidates. During the interview, you ask your interviewee to write the answer to a question that you've asked them on a little slip of paper. After writing this note, the applicant then hands you back the note and you look at it. You are repulsed by this sample of handwriting in front of you. It looks like a kindergartner could do it. Handwriting quality is also decreasing significantly with the advent of online curricula. Previously, students learned to write using a physical program in which they could have a physical piece of paper and pen to write things out with. Now the best children can do is write on the screen with their e-pencil, which, you know, just does not cut it these days. Consequently, samples of handwriting that we see these days are woefully inadequate. The concept of beautiful handwriting as Charlotte Mason put forward, I just don't see that these days in children. Now let's keep going and have a word on access. 50 years ago, a teenage boy would have to visit a disreputable back alley shop to purchase a shady magazine he wanted to read. But these days, children may not even mean to access content they don't want to see. 
yet they'll often find it whether they're looking for it or not. A good way of course around this is to always put your PC in a public place. Or you can put an underage lock on your computer so children can't access inappropriate images and websites. But it is vital for parents to realize just how easy it is for children to access this material. Because this material can leave children with scars that can addict them and, and just leave them with these marks on their memory for the rest of their lives. And it's interesting thinking about long-term consequences of kids just sitting in front of screens for a long time. Have you ever thought about them being online means that they're not being out in the backyard too much. They're increasingly being more and more sedentary these days. Many years ago, a child's main entertainment would have been making mud pies and getting dirty or collecting fallen sticks and making wigwams from them. These days, it's YouTube videos and cat clips. More time on devices means decreased physical activity and a more sedentary lifestyle, which isn't good if we're talking about children. I find it interesting that the World Health Organization has looked at obesity statistics and it says that children overweight levels have increased 12% since 1990. And of course, if your child is using an online curriculum, then they're more inclined to be sedentary and have an increased risk of overweightness or obesity. But don't think that I am all against computers being used in education. In fact, I'm personally a big fan of what's called blended curricula. These seem to have most of the pros of online curricula and fewer of the cons. So these are programs that come with pre-recorded or live online teacher lessons. And what I love about these programs is that they come with with physical workbooks. So children can do a lot of their material offline. They get to look away from the screen. Children can stop and start their teacher-led video lessons, which means you as the parent are not having to do any of the teaching work, which is probably why you signed up for an online curriculum in the first place. What are some programs, I hear you ask, that do these things? Well, BJU Press, A Becca, and Veritas Press all offer blended curricula. I'll link all of these down below. Personally, I love using BJU Press with my own children. We use their material every year and we love it. It's really affordable. Parents can work and homeschool at the same time and it has an option to be accredited even though it is such an affordable option. It's also used in a lot of Christian schools so you know you're getting a good education. If you would like to check out BJU Press for yourself, I've made a really fun review video right here to check out.